Ryan Jewell. I uh, live in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, I grew up in Portsmouth, Ohio. I'm most comfortable saying I'm a musician um, and primarily percussionist, I guess. I've been playing um, drums percussion for, I guess, about half my life now. Um, it was actually kind of interesting in that area. I remember there was a park that every, um, every Saturday night there would be uh, some sort of like kind of DIY punk show uh, in the park and then the next day would always be their parents playing bluegrass and that was sort of like uh, really in interesting to me and there was also like a pirate radio station that a friend of mine did and it was it, you know out of this person's house and he would play just you know whatever he whatever music he liked um, and then their parents would often go upstairs into the bedroom, the pirate radio station, and play their favorite bluegrass and gospel music. So it was like sort of this weird thing where uh, it didn't really clash. It was really strange. And I, actually, the things I play, I don't think are really that, that related to either one, but I'm sure it is somehow. So. I've never felt closed off from any kind of possibilities, I guess, musically. You know, sort of, it, it was never... Um, it never seemed that way to me, that, that it, because you like this, you can't like something else. For, for years now, I've always been sort of trying to find a way to, um, even, even while working, um, have it somehow uh, either enrich or uh, somehow contribute to my desire to make music. So one of my early jobs was like delivering pizzas. And, and that was, I sort of liked that job because I was able to literally like, you know, practice on the steering wheel and listen to music for hours a day. I remember hearing that uh, Ornette Coleman had a job for a while as an elevator operator, as an elevator operator. And um, he had that job so he could like sit in an elevator by himself all day and study theory. For the past good few years now, I've been able to do that by doing uh, some freelance gigs and also teaching lessons. Like I teach private lessons and do things like that as well. You know, a lot of the things that I like to play uh, on, you know, on a drum or on percussion, um, I think come more from listening to like saxophone players and trumpet players and a lot of like, you know, sort of uh, extended technique for those instruments. I never like that term, but that's what, you know, what people call them. So. Yeah, um, what, uh, December 2nd, uh, Wild Goose Creative on Summit, uh, Frequency Fridays. I will probably use some kind of percussion. I'll probably use a drum. I, I often, just for portability, I often just take a snare drum and some things to play that drum in a not uh, traditionally percussive way. But as far as the specifics of what I'll actually be playing, uh, uh, it's usually it's mostly improvised. Frequency Friday, uh, December second, at Wild Goose, over on uh, on Summit, uh, sponsored by Fuse Factory, should be a pretty good show.